everybody. Uh, today I will make a little video and uh, show you how to um, update the firmware on your QMX transceiver. Hands of QRP Labs has just released a new firmware today, so I thought I would like to install it right away, of course. And uh, as I keep forgetting how this update procedure works, um, I decided I'll do a little video today, so uh, it's for myself and, and also for you guys, so everyone knows what's going on. First of all, you have to turn the radio on, of course. DC power needs to be supplied and the USB cable needs to be plugged in both your radio and your um, computer. Now, you want to turn the radio on with this <clears throat> button, as you know, um, and please take a moment and uh, watch the right hand corner of the display, the upper right hand corner and see what's going on there. The firmware version currently used is displayed for a very, very quick moment. Uh, in my case, this was firmware version 10 and I want to update it to 11. So. In order to do that, the next step will be a long press on the menu button. So it'll jump into the menu system of the radio. And there you have to navigate your way all over to the point where it says, I was already here, it says updating firmware. And then you want to press the menu button again. And the radio will come up with sure. Of course we are sure, otherwise we wouldn't have gone that far, so we're gonna press the tune button. And the radio turns itself off now. In the same instant you should notice on your PC that a USB flash drive by the name of QMX is coming up. And if you look inside the folder you will see the current firmware, which is the QMX file with the 10 at the end. So I'm going to replace it uh, with uh, the latest version. I have already downloaded this later version, number 11, which is right here. And I'll just drag it into the USB flash drive and it'll copy the file now. Now, as it copies, I will show you what's happening on the QMX. As soon as it is uh, ready, and I think you noticed already the version, um, it, it will uh, turn the radio on again and it'll be operational with the new firmware. Now, to check on this, I can turn the radio off again, turn it on, and here we are with firmware 11. I think Hans really invented a great way of uh, updating firmware. I have never seen such a thing before. And it's so easy and so nice. So kudos to the developer. I think this man's a real genius. Okay, I hope you liked that. And uh, like uh, playing with your QMX, it's a great little radio. I use mine a lot and uh, use it in CW, use it in FT8 and all the digital modes that it provides. Just a great radio and uh, have fun with yours and have fun with ham radio. 73s from DL9SCO.